So the town hall meeting is exactly what you imagine. It's a debate and a discussion with questions from the audience, which is what you want. It's a little bit low key and not as strict as a plenary session, but we want questions and answers uh, from the debate and the discussion on the testosterone issue. Uh, the AUA thought that this would be a good format for a current controversy, and that is, how do you evaluate low testosterone, how do you manage low testosterone, and is there a safety risk for treating patients with low testosterone? Well, the town hall format turned out to be the ideal way to address this issue. Like a political town hall, we're going to have me as a moderator, and we're going to have two speakers with opposing views on three questions, or four questions, um, they'll debate it for five minutes, not very long, and then a rebuttal session. And then there'll be questions that will come from the audience that we're getting, you know, emailed and or uh, tweeted and stuff like that, that then we'll bring up in the third session. The second session is on anabolic steroids. And then the third session is on question and answer session through those first two sessions. It's less didactic, if you will. It is didactic because we're teaching what we, what's the state, state of the union and state of the art, but we want some feedback. You know, we want to have a discussion with our members and especially when it comes to a topic that has a lot of questions, a lot of clinical dilemmas, some of which may or may not be answered just by the FDA. So we have to practice in the real world, in, in, the, in the world of the FDA as well, and what's appropriate, what is still part of our clinical practice. And I think that's the kind of benefit of a town hall. And hopefully the discussion will answer a lot of questions from people who don't ask questions. One of the things that I've always liked about being a urologist is that it's not a static field. We have new treatments, we adopt new technologies to provide better care to our patients with less trauma and with greater recovery.